welcome to Unplug with Dell Technologies, where we have industry-focused discussions and examine how innovative technologies and agile methodologies are transforming sectors. And I'm your host, Ruchira Sharma. Data-driven technological advancements have increased efficiency, maximized productivity, and decreased costs across sectors. And today, the spotlight is on a sector that has been at the forefront of the transformation, that is the telecom sector. So what are the big trends and developments in this space and how can the telcos ride the next big wave of change? We will find out all that from our very special guest. We have with us Mr. Anish Shah, President and CEO at Geo Platforms Limited. Hello. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for getting me here. Thank you for joining us. And uh, let's begin with the basics. So we're talking about this whole transformation that is uh, you know, happening as we speak. So do you think that the telecom sector is ready to ride the next big wave of change? Uh, I don't think they have any choice. It is happening and probably uh, for telecom uh, with 5G, with cloud, with edge, uh, with so much of things on artificial intelligence and machine learning. There are so many different technologies for the first time, I believe in different areas of the technology products and services there's so much of transformation happening mm -hmm. and uh, i don't think any sector including telecom can stay away from those transformations which are happening for the first time i see cloud edge network compute and data everything happening simultaneously and changing the entire ecosystem and it is changing the entire ecosystem so short answer is yes all right and do you think uh, the telcos are realizing that the earlier traditional role doesn't fly anymore for telecom the transformation is inevitable mm -hmm. and as you see that every element of the technology be it in cloud uh, be it edge uh, or be it 5G. Mm -hmm. Each one of them, when you look at at a component level, they are all abstracted, they are all individual, and they are all containerized. Which means this will really help to scale mm -hmm. anything which you want to do, and the possibilities are immense. And if all other industries have to now really use the benefit of this individual containerized scalable component mm -hmm. the telecom industry will be the first to transform itself yes people will be looking for how do they create a better customer experience mm -hmm. if the telcos are using the same old systems mm -hmm. they are using the same old crms they are using the same old architecture they will not be able to take the benefit of what is required as a part of the transformation. Definitely. So certainly telecom is the first to get transformed. There are three things which are very important. One is the mindset change. Sure. The second is the skill set change. Mm -hmm. And third is the entire architecture or the business model change. So these three changes are required and I believe every telco in some form and shape and at a different level of maturity, I think they are doing that. Definitely. Very important points made over there about skill set, uh, cultural mindset, and uh, also changing the entire cloud native architecture. When you're talking about geo particularly, how has the geo ecosystem evolved to focus on these other areas and also seamlessly move across verticals? You know, whether it's retail, manufacturing, healthcare, because that is also happening. Yeah. So I think uh, very pertinent and uh, appropriate question for saying how so like I represent uh, geo platforms and I think uh, before pandemic mm -hmm. we were very clear that uh, you know when the 5g cloud uh, edge artificial intelligence, intelligence and machine learning uh, blockchain there are so many different uh, mm -hmm. technologies which uh, we believe are very, very important for any transformation, digital transformation of any business, uh, including what we are doing in telecom. So at Geo, we decided that, you know, uh, it is best done 
if we start building some of these core foundational technologies on our own sure. so that a it is indigenized mm -hmm. b of course we also believe in make in india so that was one of the major major drive for us to do make in india sure and the third thing which was very relevant is that we are i mean reliance as a group is in so many different uh, businesses uh, in manufacturing oil and gas retail healthcare so, so many businesses so we said that you know whatever we build at geo platforms mm -hmm. how can we use these technologies to enable our own businesses all right so believe in eating our own dog food <laughs> and i think that dog fooding is really helping us to sure. build some of the core capabilities uh, which is very very relevant not only for our own businesses but relevant for the industry as a whole so that capability transformation is what geo platforms is all about so in geo platforms we do nothing but we just build this uh, digital capabilities mm -hmm. uh, we also partner with so many different uh, core partners uh, because i believe this such a large transformation in every area cannot be done just no. by one individual so obviously we have a ecosystem partners and we have very good partners uh, like google facebook microsoft so many other uh, hp so there are different different partners whom we are working with and building some of the very indigenous products by ourselves mm -hmm. which we can then deploy it for manufacturing retail uh, even in healthcare in in fintech because we are right. starting a lot of thing in fintech so so i believe that uh, that is what we have been doing since last uh, pandemic started uh, as we speak we have also got many startup ecosystems who are now part of uh, geo platforms and along with those tech startups and along with our own internal teams we have been able to build some of these platforms which we are now offering to a lot of other industries mm -hmm. uh, to a lot of other enterprises and even to other telecom providers all right that's great uh, any insight that you would like to share with us on the scalability part of the at geo mm -hmm. uh, whatever we do we always first believe that if we can't scale mm -hmm. then that is something which we can't even build our business for so scalability i think goes without uh, doubt that you know you need to make it scale i'll make one very simple example mm -hmm. of what do you mean by scalability yes uh, and i tell this to many of my colleagues and sometimes i quote this to even my partners that mm -hmm. uh, you know what's the difference between what geo does versus what anybody else does sure uh, and this is all about scalability so i say that you know uh, an aeroplane also flies and uh, a rocket also flies uh, but an aeroplane can only fly mm -hmm. but it cannot go and uh, go out to the outer space yes and for that you need rocket science and rocket can always go in the outer space so it's all about scalability and geo is all about get, getting into the outer space into the next orbit okay. so when you look at two objects both fly Mm -hmm. one which cannot go in the outer space one no which one can, can go in the outer space it's all about that how do you believe and how do you make that scalability in everything you do whether it is business whether it is technology whether it is operations whether it is customer service mm -hmm. everything has to be of that kind and i believe that to do that there is always a rocket science definitely an interesting analogy there but i'd like to also bring in uh, the the fact that you mentioned earlier that is about uh having an agile first approach because that is also crucial at this point so how are you enabling that within your ecosystem or within your employees what are the kind of changes that you have been uh, you know looking at so i think uh it goes without saying that if you want to build a scalable architecture uh, architecture which is so modern uh, mm -hmm. people to leverage on the newer technologies sure uh, i think one of the three elements which i mentioned is the skill set change yes the mindset change and the skill set change so in the skill set change what we are trying to do is we are transforming our set of employees people partners to start looking at all the newer capabilities uh, there are so many different 
out there ready practices mm -hmm. we follow m most of the practices which are very modern in agile as we sure. call and i again agile is not just a simple term mm -hmm. it's not only just to build things in software but agile in terms of thinking in terms of mindset and making it happen even in our businesses you can't say that my software is agile but my business is not not yes okay or my so mindset you, is not or yes. mindset is yes. not so first you have to bring agility there mm -hmm. that can i change can i make those modifications quickly can i bring things quickly mm -hmm. and to do that can i transform myself quickly can i change first myself so i think those elements are very very important and uh, that agility is what we do by changing by bringing those skill sets mm -hmm. by allowing people to get trained by transforming by providing capabilities by providing abilities for uh, employees and partners and resources to really learn new technology new techniques and how do you make those changes all right so i think that is one of the most Broadly important part. apart from this of course our leadership they are they are always on top of it they are always there to guide us and they are always agile probably before even we start thinking so okay. that has really helped uh, geo to really become agile all right So whenever we talk about data and uh, data is the new oil for the future we also need to talk about scalability and about sustainability so my two questions for you are that how can you ensure that these technologies can be adapted at scale and while doing so how can you ensure sustainability uh, like you know uh, data has been there now for so many years and i think it is the granularity of data the enrichment of data has probably exponentially grown mm -hmm. that has brought a lot of other opportunities uh, yeah. for industries for every sector to really take benefit of how can they really run their real business mm -hmm. in fact the accuracy of data which you get is so very important and with so much of data available it becomes very very important that you start using this data in the right sense uh, like what some i think you mentioned data is the new oil mm -hmm. you also need a new refinery to process okay. that oil true and i believe these are the partners and there are several others mm -hmm. who provide this components which are required to process this new uh, form of oil which is data right. and uh, only then you will be able to start using that in the right sense Uh, security and sustainability i think that goes hand in hand uh, more so ever with 5g with cloud and edge uh, with distributed things and with intelligence bringing on to everything which we are doing i think uh, and of course 5g is all about energy saving uh, it brings a lot of transformation and how do you save energy in every aspect of what you are doing especially in 5g uh, i think every telco everybody is looking at how do they really start looking at sure. uh, saving energy but when you look at massive transformation happening because of data mm -hmm. i think uh, the newer technologies have inbuilt part of two things one is the security because that is inherited in everything you do and second is sustainability which is that how do you reduce the carbon footprint in everything you do okay. be it a server be it a storage be it a network device mm -hmm. or be it the way you are architecting in your data center or cloud or edge so i think these are all fabrics which are which are getting simultaneously uh, i think they are all advanced uh, in in terms of their mm -hmm. development in terms of their ecosystem and uh, i think that is something which every telco every other sector whoever is now getting transformed have to they have no option but to look at all those options all right so just before we wrap up two last questions here progressive telecom companies are also offering vast you know to uh, bring in new revenue streams and also reimagine the entire customer experience so what are your key learnings here and how do you think this is going to change 
the customer experience as we speak i think vas is a very legacy word uh, i mean uh, every service with telecom or for, the, for that matter techos have to do mm-hmm. have to be value added i mean yes. there is no separate value added service and there is no something base service mm-hmm. uh, because now like i was saying that uh, the the line is very blurred between the ict itself so obviously uh, we have to identify different opportunities different avenues mm-hmm. of building those businesses enabling not only telecom but even other sectors for example retail or manufacturing and in every of this it is no more a connectivity as a separate business no more a cloud as separate no more edge as separate no more device as separate everything is part of the fabric yes and if you are going to provide that fabric you have to be building each of this component and providing service on top of it so in my opinion uh, if you don't start transforming your own business and enabling that and providing this as a service to others mm-hmm. people are now creating newer models yes. of business opportunities where you know from earlier people used to buy server storage buy a data center uh now you don't have to because the newer business model is saying that you can just hire a compute required if you need it for 30 minutes you can just get mm-hmm. rented uh, that compute and that storage and that services for 30 minutes make your use do whatever is required and then you don't need it you can just give it back so i think there are newer models which are now getting done and because of that uh, to in my opinion every telecom uh, the word vas has to be embedded as a part of their base service it cannot be a separate service all right so one last question going forward what do you think that the road ahead looks like because you mentioned uh, modernizing network uh, adopting a unified approach a cloud native architecture uh, that's a given but how do you think telcos can better prepare themselves to ride what's coming in the next years uh, you know to be a better uh, to survive better and thrive in the next uh, few years Uh, again i will go with the same my three principles that uh, there are three changes which are required one is the mindset change another is the skill set change and third is the organization architecture change mm-hmm. these three changes are required for any telco to really become from telco to techco and uh, really ride on the wave of saying that you know they are no more going to provide only connectivity business they will be probably pervasively providing businesses in agriculture in fintech in retail in manufacturing uh, in gaming in mm-hmm. entertainment in media possibly in every right. possibly every yeah. every other areas they will be really providing that kind of services right. that's what i would like to say okay thank you mr anish for this very exciting and insightful conversation and that's it from all of us here on unplugged with dell technologies and just to sum up the road to the future will be paved by communication service providers that can deliver superior customer experiences in real time at an unprecedented speed and a hybrid cloud is the agile infrastructure needed to make this a reality and that's it from all of us hope you enjoy the show